Hey y'all, we are the Moms of Furries. I'm Carrie. I'm Joelle. And today we are bringing to you a top 10 list. 10 signs that your kid might be a furry. Number 10. If it's Halloween and your kid always, every single time, wants to be an animal, or it's not Halloween and they just want to sport ears or a collar, your kid might be a furry. If you find doodles all over your house of animals, number nine says your kid might be a furry. They could be you stickers too. Stickers or drawings or pens of animals or anthropomorphic characters maybe a furry. All right. So lots of kids like stuffies and they love their little plush stuffed animals. But if your kid has never outgrown it, or perhaps their collection is growing and maybe even the size of their critters is growing, your kid might be a furry. Mm -hmm. That's true. So if your kid knows every anthropomorphic cartoon ever made, and they know the definition of anthropomorphic, maybe a furry. <laughs> if your kid is talking nonstop about Dutch angel dragons, and you think maybe you missed that part of science class, your kid might be a furry. <laughs> That's true. So if you are texting with your kid and they're responding with possum, or if they get excited about something and they respond with oh, oh, or ooh, ooh, might be a furry. You know, that one happens in our house all the time. I wonder, hmm. Okay, so if your kid loves listening to music like so many other kids do, but you don't recognize the music and you find a CD by somebody called Foxes and Peppers, your kid is probably a furry. Probably. <laughs> so if you ask your kid their favorite YouTubers and the names sound like a fruit salad, maybe a furry. Could be. <laughs> now let's talk about travel. And we all like to vacation. We know our kids do too. But if they want to go to Seattle in November or they want to go to Reno in May, maybe San Jose in January, there is a good chance they might be a furry. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the big clue, the big sign, if your kid comes to you and asks you to watch a YouTube channel called The Moms of Furries, they are a furry. <laughs> Don't be afraid. So, Don't be afraid. <laughs> what can you do if some of these signs apply to you, Joelle? Well, first of all, do, do you even need to do anything? You could just do nothing, right? Or you could, you could have a conversation. Take the opportunity to ask them if they're part of the furry fandom or if they consider themselves furry. What if they say and yes? If they are. <laughs> panic no <laughs> at first maybe but that's just because you don't understand it yet absolutely but this is a great opportunity to have a deeper dive into that conversation or do a little research on your own you could certainly check out for science oh for science is a great um great website lots of information um you could check out moms of furries no plug intended but we do have good information on there and we were parents just like you most likely, if you're watching this, you already know your kid's a furry or you highly suspect it. Um, so reach out to us. We're at mofurries.com and ask us questions if you don't feel comfortable asking your kids questions. There are lots of other resources on the internet as well. And there are some great YouTubers out there putting out really good content to talk about how they knew they were a furry, what they did about it, who they talked to, and how they joined the fandom. We hope that we've helped. And if you think your kid might be a furry, consider yourself lucky. That's right. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye. Take care.